Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you my red deck profile and you can see my deck box is matching sleeves today. This is the Zeke from the Shaman King. It is very nicely done deck box that I bought in 2016 when I was in Japan and it's not even official, it just has the illustration name on it and sleeves as well have the illustration name on it and funny story that my professor that actually was teaching me about the Japanese culture in the university is also has the exactly same name so that is funny and starting from the Digitamas I'm going to use four Yokomons and one Koromon so now let's go to the deck profile So I'm using uh, 13 rookies, usually I use 14 of the rookies so to not uh, miss them on the starting hand but in this deck I just didn't find any place to put it more and so we used 3 Mondramon, uh, 2 cost to play rookie, we use 2 Biamon again to cost to play rookie then we use four agmons it is very nice card as it has super simple effect inheritable skill digimon gets plus 1000 and that 1000 can, can mean a lot to us then we playing two agmons from the promo pack as it works perfectly with the metal greymon uh, from the booster which says when you attack you get plus 3 memory it gives him plus 2000 attack so it becomes 9000 uh, most likely to survive hitting the security zone then we are using uh, two Gilmon it has very similar effect to the Agumon that we showed before as it gives you plus 1000 attack inheritable skill and then we are using uh, four dark Tyrannomon it is level 4 but it is super nice card as you pay only one memory to evolve it and draw one card and you usually have more memory than you usually at the zero and then can play another card to end your turn then we have uh, four Coradramon so it is classical blocker that uh, everyone should use in their decks then we have for Greymon, I can't wait for the uh, Party Tamers events to get the promo version of this card, Alternative Art, and the Foil one. So this card is super nice as it costs only 2 to evolve and it has Inheritable Skill plus 1 Security, which works very nice in this deck. Then we have Metal Greymon, which I was mentioning before. When you attack you get plus 3 memory, it works super nice into, the, into this deck, if you have multiply copies on the field you can just do a lot of stuff and then at the end you just drop Gaia Force and your opponent will not get that much memory as he or she should get. And it gives you a lot of advantage. Then I use 2 Groudramon uh, just to evolve it uh, for cheaper co cost for the two of the evolving cost and draw cards and reach level six more fast then we play three copies of metal tyrannomon it is vanilla card it has 10,000, which is a lot and only three to evolve then i'm using only one school greymon it pops uh, the blocker from the field but uh, the most important place is that you can easily play it from the hand destroying one blocker and on the next turn you will have level 5 on your field which will help you to reach level 6 and then level 7 then we use only one pe 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 Nixmon, so it costs only 2 to evolve it has nice status and you drop one and on the very same turn because it is so cheap you can evolve your Omnimon then we play 
2, Volcanic Dramon. It is a very nice card against all those rush decks and so on. And you can use this card in any deck. It is officially the most best common card from the booster set 1. And everyone forgets, but it actually has the security attack plus 1. And you can play in any color of the deck. So even if I prefer to play blue, I can play it, destroy the field, and next turn I can attack for the security plus one. So it is a very nice card. Then I play three copies of Gallantmon. So I actually like this deck more than pure red Omnimon deck because this card is so much to play. It has Digi Evolving skill to pop the 6000 or less Digimon from the opponent side of the field if you control the tamer. And it has the second effect, when you attack first, trash opponent's security, depending on how many trash cards he she has, and then you still continue to attack his security zone. So if you have like plus one security from the Greymon and so on, you can first trash the option cards that does not activate from the security zone and then finish your opponent with a direct attack and so on. So this card is super fun to play, that's why I like to play this and then play two Omnimons in this deck. So if you have only two copies of the Omnimon, this deck is for you. As it is just perfectly fine to use two Omnimons in this deck and Gallant Mons. An Omnimon is a very strong card. And then we use four copies of the Gaia Force. So Gaia Force is just an amazing card. Again, you can use it in any other deck as well. As yes, you cannot activate it from your hand, but if you have it in your security zone, the skill still activates when your opponent hits it. So it is very strong skill. Destroy one of your opponent's Digimon. Simple and strong. And finally, we use three copies of Taikamiya. So first, the reason is why we use it is because we want to activate our Galathmon, which, require, which requires to have Tamer on the field. And the second reason why we use it is because it is very nice card against the blue Omnimon and other decks that like to memory deny you. And just to have a Tamer on the field on the side, which gives you memory if your opponents try to deny you. It is such a good thing. So that is all for today's video. Please subscribe and see you in the next video. Mama and die.